fans that silk boss dance all entertainer has met in a serious car accident where his newly bought bmw has been seen written off we just hope the artists are right and whenever we get something new on this story we best believe that drift tv have covered it so stay tuned you see so according to the queen of rap Nicki minaj she and the queen of dance all spice had the best slumber party ever in a late night link up in LA this week. So both ladies took to social media and show fans what a slumber party with two queens look like. So in the video people you can see the two queen of their respective genres <laughs> vibing to their so me like the vibe where Nicki Minaj I bring and me like the vibe where Spice I bring It good for see with Caribbean people in my link up and I make things up. You see me? Take a look at the video Pani kaki pani beat Pull up like a plate Fat punani me Me hat no blood clad so on the flip side, Shenzia finds herself under fire from Spice and Nicki Minaj's fan base. Bad mind, man! You too bad mind! You too bad mind! Nicki Minaj and Spice fans have turned their attention onto Shenzia over a single tweet. Some folks are questioning why the Jamaican singer wasn't featured on Nicki Minaj's new Caribbean girl power anthem. Fans of Dancehall Queen Spice are calling Shenzia jealous and shady after she was left off the Nicki Minaj remix The Fine Nine Little Miss. So Sunday gone, Shenzia shared a tweet that seemed to stir up an ant's nest. She quote, I'm glad I don't kiss. Perfect. The artist wrote on Twitter. Many of Spice's fans who commented on the post seemed to think that Shenzia was subbing Spice. Although the two artists appeared to not have any conflicts in recent times. One fan tweeted, just say you're mad. You wasn't on the fine nine. Fake acting like you love Nikki when we all know you really love 11 faces. That's why your career on decline. Shenzia has not responded to the trolls but she has shared that she has been working. She recently released the visuals for her song Obsessed with Calvin Harris and also shared that she has been busy in the studio creating magic for her fans. She tweeted later, I got so much music that ain't out yet, it's crazy. Well people back then, Shenzia did come an interview when them asked her if she would have collaborated with Spice and uh, she responded that dancehall queen Spice did not want to collaborate with her. While me can understand the beef between the two of them, I mean, I really call it beef because it will confirm or anything like that. But you can definitely feel the tension in the ear. So, we are keeping an eye out on this one. So, until then, we're moving right along. And speaking of Little Miss, the original writer, dancehall artist King reacts to Broadcasting Commission's ban on Mali. Ratty Gang in charge and Anjo he quoted. So Tuesday the Broadcasting Commission released a new directive imposing an immediate ban on the transmission of audio or video recordings, live songs or speech on radio or television that promote illicit activities. Several members of the entertainment community have been seen expressing their bewilderment over the decision while others have spoken out against it. So by Thursday of the same week, Rising Dancehall Phenomenon's King appeared and subtly had his own opinion to the matter, posting a clip of one of his hits, Rain Like Hill. Man, so the post that it make past King Instagram page using a yarn emoji and the clips only caption the artist allowed the lyrics to do the talking for him. You hear the man say people? Hey man, I him run dance all, I him run it. You see me? I know Andrew Oles. So make we see what going happen from here. Things that take an interesting turn more if you see. You have certain people like ZJ Liquid. <laughs> them them man they say them still are play with them feel like for play you And she's king asking a rebel against the broadcasting commission thing. You know? But people remember you know in time you make something scarce you know, when you ban it, you know, the value of it automatically you gonna go. Perfect. Ramesh Major celebrates girlfriend's birthday with an emotional message. So the event promoter and artist manager previously rumored to have been dating the Shengyang boss, Shenzi. Dedicated an Instagram post to his significant other 
and no people that is not Shen Zia. The girl actually named Shaquille Witter. Sorry, my apologies if me pronounce the name wrong, but a Shaquille me see. Shaquille Witter, an influencer and public figure. It is unclear how long the two have been dating, however. Their relationship was made public earlier this year. So Ramesh captioned the post. Happy birthday to my other half, one of the most beautiful soul. Love you so much. You are the true meaning of an understanding partner that continues to show me love throughout my good and bad ways. End quote. The promoter continued that he strongly believes that no one can show or take care of him. The promoter stated that there is no one who can take care of him better than Witter, whom he declared to be his friend, lover, chef, happy person, his happiness and more. Him tell her same lover and call her him sugar plum. Yeah, well, and him promise her to make her birthday unforgettable. Now me know this may be a shock to a lot of people, but damn this girl look real good. And may I tell you the boss really cop one. <laughs> well, as long as them happy in a them relationship, that is what matters. Cause the boss they are never expressing feelings. You see me? So congratulations to Ramesh and yeah man, what do you think? Happy birthday, Miss Shaquille Wita. Andrew Holness look like him shame. Boy, Drip Nation, anyway, go ahead find <laughs> little drama, eh, man. So, MP Natalie Nita Garvey walks off ribbon cutting ceremony that involves Prime Minister Andrew Olness. For those who are a part of Drip Nation and might not know, Mrs. Natalie Nita Garvey, a member of the Parliament for North Central St. Catherine and a member of the People's National Party PNP walked away from the ribbon cutting ceremony being held in celebration of a male member in her constituency becoming the new owner. And people if you look in the video you can see she definitely upset to her posture and her body language and what she said. So in light of her behavior. Some people never had pleased with it. Some people also inferred that the MP was addressing the Prime Minister who was standing a little behind her and stated, quote, No matter what disagreement she has, that's not how you talk to the Prime Minister of your country. Then when she see children behave like this, can we blame music alone? End quote. Another patron posted, I'm assuming that something predicated her saying that I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt and I'd like to hear her side of the story. With that said, on the surface it doesn't look good. I'm not surprised though when politicians play politics. And Drip Nation may have to agree with him. Most times when we see videos surface on social media, we don't get the full story, you know. We always get one side of story where we put the person in question in a bad reputation. So until we see the full video, we can make a definite comment on this one, but it seems like it's a definite grows. Miss Edley, well, Miss Garvey, sorry, have with the Prime Minister. So, moving on to the next one, you know. Dancehall artist D Angel introduces us to her fetishes. So, we know D, D Angel for her sexy style and provocative personality. D Angel has given her adoring fans something to talk about with some of her new posts on her Instagram account. The first lady of dancehall and the OnlyFans model, the angel, has graced us with another hint into what excites her in the bedroom. The caption with the angel post on her Instagram quotes, Chains and whips excite me. I think that's a popular um, quote from a song, you know. Let me see if I can remember the song. Ah, yeah, I think a Rihanna song when he um, um, Chains and whips. Yeah man, that's like a song the way she has a chains and whips sex. I mean, yeah, 
<laughs> Moving on, people. You know the Rihanna song we say chains and whips excite me. I could be wrong, but probably a that chair coat still is it. So people, the video them steamy and I don't make you uncomfortably put them in the video without YouTube having a problem with it. So here we go do. Check in at the description, I'm going to leave a link for all of you interested to go look on the product and the video. This has been Drip Wave and until the next edition of Drip Wave, keep it dripping. <laughs>